Growing vegetables and fodder for livestock the hydroponics way. There isn't any soil in sight. These small volcanic stones are used to support the plants. At the bottom, it's at a demonstration a farm in central Kenya, farmers are learning more about the concept. It uses one tenth of water normally used in agriculture. Uh, for vegetables, also you can grow vertically, especially with the PVC pipes, whereby instead of growing one crop, you can grow forth. There's still another thing of the soil bone diseases, especially in uh, tomatoes. Those ones are not there because we are not using soil. It takes just a week to grow this barley, and livestock farmers who have adopted this method are assured of year-round supply of green, nutritious fodder for their animals. Barley seeds are spread on clean aluminium trays that are chemically treated to avoid toxins that can cause crop failure or diseases in animals. Mineral nutrients mixed with water at specific proportions are then poured on the seeds. The nutrients are extracted from natural plant and sea matter. Soon after, germination begins. In seven days, the fodder is ready for consumption. It's less work for me. Planting fodder the usual way in the farm takes a lot of time and energy. But when I use hydroponics technology, I don't have to do much, and I'm able to feed the animals and carry out other duties. 95% of farmed land in sub-Saharan Africa still relies on rainwater, where levels of productivity are low due to lack of necessary nutrients in the soil. Experts from Hydroponics Kenya say they have created hundreds of hydroponic systems for farmers in Kenya, Burundi, Uganda and are currently working on one in Somalia. But critics warn that it only takes a small mistake in the procedure to have disastrous consequences. Sometimes farmers go and buy some trays which are not treated and also build a structure that is not uh, well accustomed to the temperature that is required. When the temperatures either go beyond that or below, the plants develop some molds that are very harmful to the animals and are very poisonous. But for some farmers, the benefits of hydroponics are clearly worth taking the risk. Gladys Joroge, BBC News, Zambezi, Central Kenya.